Hey guys, it's your good old weather pal Caleb here, and I'm out here with my Davis Vantage View Weather Station. Welcome to Weather Station Saturday, guys. I promise you it, here's our first one. Well, I'm gonna explain to you first what this part of the station does. So here we have a rain gauge. This obviously measures the amount of rain in the closest to a hundredth of an inch. And this here is the antenna that sends all the data over to our base station indoors. This here is the anemometer, which measures our wind speed. Here is our uh, station center where we have our humidity, temperature, and dew point, and other essentials that measure the um, stuff doing to the uh, measurements of the air. And here we have the wind direction, uh, weather vane that also tells us where the wind's coming from. And on this side right here, we actually have a solar panel. So this thing is solar powered during the day and runs off battery power at night. But the solar power panel can actually hold about 18 hours of energy. So it runs for 18 hours. Even if there's not sun after dusk, it'll still run off of solar power, which is really nice. So this is a great station. You guys can buy it. Um, link to the, in the description to this weather station. And uh, let's go inside and check out... Uh, the uh, base station that this uh, weather station has. All right, guys, this here is our base station that Davis has made for the Vantage View. So I'm gonna go over what it displays and the cool things that it can do for us. Well. We'll start up at the top here. At the top, you can see that there's temperature, both inside and outdoors. It also gives humidity, both inside and outdoors also. Here's the barometric pressure, and you can change the types of um, units if you need to, of course. You have rainfall as you go farther down, and then you have this area right here that says heat. You can actually change that. That's the heat index. We can change that to the wind chill. can also change that to the dew point. So that thing right here can do three different things. And that's true for a lot of the things on this weather station. They can do a few other things. As we move farther down, this here is your graph. So whenever I click on a button here, this is the temperature, humidity, wind. You can select that and it'll give you a graph about it. And you can actually change, there's even more options about that graph that you can view the data about, which is kind of cool. Another thing, this here is the wind speed. Then around you have the wind direction. There's a little black thing right here, black arrow. That's where the current wind direction is. And then these two little arrows are the average area of where the direction is, is in between those. So that's kind of cool. And then as we get up to the top, you have the sunset, sunrise stuff here. You can actually change that. If you want to display the time set, you can click time. But I don't usually need to see the time on my weather station. I usually like actually seeing the sunset and sunrise stuff. So that's kind of a cool thing. So that's pretty much an overview of what it does. And also right here, we'll give you a little forecast of what it's going to be like. And you have the moon. This will tell you if it's be frozen precip if there is any. And this here tells you if the pressure is dropping, rising, or staying the same. So you can view a ton of data on this thing. But that's just the beginning of what this station can do. You can actually hook it up to the computer, which I'll go on a later video on how to do that if you're a Vantage View or some sort of Davis Weather Station owner. I'll show you how to do that and where to buy the equipment for it. But for now, I'm just going to show you where all that data goes, and how you can view our weather station here at DePage Weather Authority online, both on your phone and online. So let's get right to it. All right, guys, so here we are at the computer. This is the first weather station website that it goes to, and this one's made by Davis, so their uh, software brings it to here. It's weatherlink.com, and uh, pro the stuff that I have, the equipment, comes with an unlimited subscription to their website, so you can store the data for up to, I think it's three years maybe but that doesn't matter as we have another website that will be hooked up to it that stores it forever so this is a map that you can view on the website and here is our weather station right here in Roselle and you can click on the station name and it'll come up with 
the current conditions, the high and the low temperatures, and when that happened. It'll give you uh, pretty good information about it. Also, you can give you a summary of the weather for the station, which is kind of nice, too. This gives you a lot of data. But the sad thing is there's no grass on this website. But that is why it is set and uploads here. If you have an account, you can upload your weather station to other websites. And I use this one called Weather Underground. I was actually on this uh, weather channel because I have a Weather Underground station on their show, uh, Weather Underground. So you can view that uh, video on our channel. But um, so here you can view the current conditions here. You can select other stations as well. I just have mine selected because obviously you want to look at mine. But there are a ton of stations you can view in the area. As you can see here, there's like a ton in the Chicago area alone. And they have a lot of stations throughout the whole uh, world. But I can um, view more information about my station. Actually, if I want to look at like, I can look at history records and stuff on from my station. And you can do this too on any weather station on here, actually. Um, I'll show you it here on a map. Have the current conditions. Mine doesn't have solar, all this stuff here but that's not really important but you can view the highs for today you can view weekly monthly yearly modes of information and here's the daily graph so you have temperature and dew point displayed here you have wind speed wind gusts wind directions precipitation even though there wasn't any today and barometric pressure in inches so that's that's another website that we use to view it and you guys can use it too i like this one better because it also has an app and Honestly, it's better than the other one because you can view a lot more information from the same other station. But finally, this is our website, localweatherservice.moonfruit.com. You can view our weather station on an ad-free website, which is just a bonus there. So you can view it on here, and it's, it's much less cluttered than other websites. And you can view all the data here, which is mm, pretty nice, I guess, if you that sort of thing and you can still go on to the other websites by clicking on their links here but yeah so that is the computer side so now we're gonna head over to the mobile side all right so here we are at my phone this is another way you can view uh, weather underground data um, so first I'll show you the weather underground app it's available on both iOS and Android I'm gonna just display the iOS app to start out with and I'll show you the Android one let's get started though so you click on it load up so I have it set to my weather station at the moment you can view the data on here very nicely actually and you can get a forecast for the location hour by hour which is there you go I like that and you get a summary of the forecast which is pretty handy get more data information videos that weather underground puts out and uh, sunrise data air quality UV index flu index and webcams and pictures so and you can actually get hurricane and tropical cyclone information down at the bottom and radio so this is a pretty handy app it's available on a uh, apple store uh, so there's an android one which is what i'm going to show you guys next but uh, this works for your current location um, the current location will put it to the nearest weather station for you and you can actually select if you don't like this weather station you can still select a better one all right, so we're going to move over to the Android version. All right, guys. So here is the Android version. This is on my Android tablet, but you can also get it on here. It's pretty similar. You have pretty much all the same details on it given to you just in a different format, like Android-wise. Um, gives you your quality again, UV index, flu. Um, so it's pretty much the same as the iOS version. I just have the black scheme, you can change it from black to white. But this also, both of the versions of apps, so both for Apple and Android, give you weather alerts. So when there's ever severe weather, winter weather, it will give you alerts for that. Ooh, look at this in our forecast here. Snow. That looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, this app is great for just so many weather station needs. So yeah, that's, it's just a great thing to have. And I hope you guys get the app. It's great. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that weather station Saturday here. 
Um, I hope you like the uh, Weather Underground apps both for Android, iOS, and you can get it on their website. This Davis Vantage View is a great weather station if you're looking for one and you're in a home or the city where it's really hard to have like a large one, you just want a smaller one. And it's, it's slightly budget friendly too if you want one that's not so expensive as some of them are. Um, this is the cheapest one that Davis makes so it's a great one if you want a Davis one for sure. So just make sure that you take a look at those. Um, they'll help you out uh, when you're just wanting to see the weather outside at your house and it just gives you a ton of cool data and if you're a weather geek it's like it's a must have so this is a great weather station you look into one look at this one next week I'll be giving you a little bit of information on how you get it online and what tools you need to do that so if you have one already this next video will be great for you and it'll also help you guys uh, that don't have one in what to buy when you do get one so thanks for watching guys Links to Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and my personal Vine down below. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. I would like to reach 50 subs by the end of the month. So I know it's possible. We're, we already have 39, so it's only 11 more. And I know we can do it, guys. So um, share this video with your friends. Tell them about my channel and help me get to 50. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to keep watching the weather.